Hey everyone, it's Justin Krieg with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today, I'm gonna give you all a little bit of a preservation trick of the trade. Um, I'm out here uh, outside of the Rankin House, our historic Columbus headquarters, taking a quick look at the windows. And the trick here is one of the phone calls I get most often is trying to find some additional history about someone's old house. In a lot of cases, what they were trying to do is determine what age or what year the house was built in. And one of the ways that you can start to determine a roundabout year is by looking at some of the windows. In most cases, um, at least in the Southeast United States, you can begin to judge the era that a house was built in by the number of window panes that it has. You see this window right here over my, uh, over my shoulder. It has six panes of glass in the top sash and six panes of glass in the bottom sash. This is what we call a double hung window. It's got two sashes that, uh, that slide and it's got a, um, it's called a six over six. Uh, in most cases, six over six windows were built in the time frame roughly between the 1840s and the 1870s. Um, now, smaller panes of glass, which would be like an eight over eight or a nine over nine, those are typically um, typical of 1820s to 1840s time frame. So the smaller pane of glass translates to an older property and the trend continues. So um, in most cases where you see like a four over four or a two over two window, those properties are typically much younger, getting closer to the turn of the century. One over one windows really didn't become popular until the very early 1900s. So if you go look at the old marble YMCA downtown, the replace, those are replacement windows, but the original windows were one over one windows that we've got evidence of uh, through old postcards. But that's one quick way that you can take a quick look at a historic property and get a general idea of how old it might be. The more panes of glass, uh, the older the, the, the house or the property likely is. And a lot of that translates to just the ability to make um, large panes of glass didn't come along until the early 1900s. Um, so they started off making small panes of glass and they eventually got larger and larger as time went on. So with that, we'll see you all next Tuesday.